All right, this is the second video in for geometric sequences, and we're going to do two problems here, two that are a little trickier than the other ones, but they shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. It says the geometric sequence has the first three terms of 7, K, and 28. Um, now, if you watch American football, you might know what that is already, but let's show how to do it algebraically. So if I look at um, the, the definition of geometric sequences is that you can divide two consecutive terms and you will get the common ratio. So in this case I can do, um, let's see, k divided by 7 equals 28 over k. Now if I cross multiply, this is a proportion or equivalent fractions, I get k squared equals 196. Now in order to solve that, uh, I want to find out what k is, so I'm just going to have to take the square root of both of these. Now k is going to be plus or minus 14 in this case. Now, normally the, the question says for positive numbers of k, so let's just do 14. It could be negative 14 as well, but we'll just do 14. So now it says find the common ratio. Well, the common ratio, we just have to do 14 divided by 7, which is 2. Or we could even do, just to check, 28 divided by 14, which is also 2. So obviously it's multiplying by 2, so our common ratio is 2. Now, in order to find the seventh term of the sequence, okay, remember our formula here. We go the nth term of a geometric sequence is the first term times the common ratio to the n minus 1 power. So if we want to find the seventh term, we would do the first term, which is 7, times the common ratio, which is 2. We just found that. And then n minus 1 would be 7 minus 1, which would be 6. So the seventh term is going to be... Well, let's break out a calculator here, and let's move it down so you can see it. Okay, so quit out of this, and we'll do, let's see, 7 times 2 raised to the 6th power, and we get 448. So that's our seventh term. Now, in order to find the sum of our first 14 terms, uh, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to use the sum formula, which is the sum... Uh, is the first term times the common ratio to the nth power minus 1 over r minus 1. Now, this is in your formula booklet, so uh, you, know, you don't really need to memorize it. You just need to know where everything goes. So if we're looking for the first 14 terms, so sum of 14 equals 7 times 2 to the, okay, it's the 14th power, minus 1 over, common ratio is 2, so 2 minus 1. That's kind of nice that 1's on the bottom there. So let's break out the calculator here again. And we can do 7 times 2 raised to the 14th power minus 1. Okay. And that is 114,681. Okay. So we will go 114,000. Uh, 681. So that's the 14th term. So that's our answer right there. So that's one that involves k. It's kind of a simple one. Uh, you, there's other ones where you have to factor, um, but I think that's a good start. Okay. Next we'll move on to one that has um, simultaneous equations in it. We did one like this for arithmetic sequences. Now we'll do one for geometric sequences. It says a geometric sequence has Let's see, has a second term of negative 6 and a fifth term of 162. So, this, so the fifth term, I always like to do the um, highest term first. The fifth term is 162. You'll see why in a second. And the second term is negative 6. Okay, what we can do is we can plug these in into the geometric formula. Uh, okay, which is what R to the n minus 1. So for the first one, we can plug in 162. We're going to make two equations. We don't know what the first term is yet. We don't even know what r is yet. Now n minus 1, it's the fifth term, so 4 minus 1 would equal, or excuse me, 5 minus 1 would equal 4. Now we can do this for negative 6 as well. So we get the first term, and then we get r. Now the second term, so it's 2 minus 1 is 1. Now the beauty of this is that we can divide these. Okay, it's going to make what what's going to happen here is it's going to make the uh, 
when we divide, it's going to make the the first terms go away. Okay, they come and turn into one. So 162 divided by negative six is negative 27. Okay, and then uh, r to the fourth divided by r to the first. You when you have the same base and you're dividing exponents, uh, you just subtract. So four minus one is three. So r to the third equals negative 27. Now you might know that off the top of your head. If you don't, um, it's basically saying what's the third root of negative 27. You can just type negative 27 in your calculator and raise it to the one third power. And that would be equal to negative three. There's also a function to take the third root, but uh, sometimes that's hard to find. So um, that, that's good for now. So your common ratio equals negative three. Okay, so that's part of it. Now they want us to find the first term of the sequence. Okay, to find the first term of the sequence, all you gotta do is plug, uh, let's see here, I'm changing colors real quick. Okay, all you gotta do is plug that common ratio into one of the equations. So I'm gonna move this down here. So I have negative six equals um, the first term, that's what I need to find. Um, times r, what's the common ratio is negative 3 raised to the first power, which is just negative 3. So if I rewrote this with the number first, I'd have negative 3 times the first term. Well, I can just divide by negative 3, and I'm going to get the first term is 2. Okay, so now once I have the first term as 2, and the uh, common ratio, I'm good to go. So part C it says find the formula for the general term. Well, okay, so I'm just going to plug it in. So the general term of this geometric sequence is the first term, which is 2, times negative 3. I always put the negatives in parentheses or brackets, just it seems to work better. And there's no confusion. Um, raised to the n minus 1 power. All right, so Last but not least, it says find the sum of the first 10 terms of this sequence. Okay, well, let's again look at the formula for the sum. It would be the uh, first term. Ooh, that's an awesome U. Okay, first term uh, times uh, common ratio to the nth power minus 1 over r minus 1. And that's in your formula booklet again. So let's just plug in 10. And we get the first term, which we just found was 2. Ra okay, now we have, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a big bracket like that because I want to put negative 3 in brackets, raise it to the 10th power, which is n, minus 1. And I'm going to do another big bracket like that. And then this is all over uh, negative 3 minus 1, which will be negative 4. So we'll get our total here. Now, entering this on the calculator, I have the old version of TI-83 here, so it's a little tricky, but it's not too bad. Okay, so I'm going to do two times. I want a big bracket, so that's I'm just going to do second and then a bracket, and then I'm going to enter in the negative 3. You always want to put negatives in, um, in brackets to make sure that it's being properly... Uh, so it goes to the exponent, so it becomes positive. If you did negative 3 without brackets raised to the 10th power, it would give you a negative number, which you don't want. So raised to the 10th power, minus 1, and I'm going to close it with a big bracket. So we do that. We get this big old number here. Now we still have to divide it by the uh, denominator. So negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. So I'm just going to do negative 4 here. Boom. Okay, so 29, negative 29,524. Okay, so let's put that negative 29,524. Okay, so that's pretty much that for, that's all for that one. Um, so basically, you know, this is an example using simultaneous equations to solve uh, for r, then you find the first term. Most of these uh, IB questions go like that, that you find one thing at a time. So stick with the problem, even if you're having trouble you can get follow through marks even if like for instance you got the wrong common ratio if you were able to write the correct gen, you know correct general term based on your work and the correct 10 terms based on your work um, you'd get follow through marks for that anyway i hope this helped um, and my next one let's see we'll do what are we going to do compound interest we'll do financial math next all right take it easy